Porsche stock popping in its uh, public debut in Germany today. It's up about 2.8 percent uh, right now. And Phil LeBeau uh, joins us now with more. And I, I, at the end, Phil, we can talk about d d the demands there. I'm sure it's the same old story uh, for the cars, for the cars themselves. Uh, how's the supply sure. of, of the great, the ones that people want? Is it is it loosening up or still still tough? <laughs> I have a little tease for you, Joe. The CFO of Porsche had some sobering comments about the chip supply, which ultimately drives the overall ability of Porsche and the other automakers to build more vehicles. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's first talk about what happened with shares of Porsche as it began trading in Frankfurt today. Uh, it was a successful debut. Interesting to say it would be successful on a day when the overall market in Europe was lower. The IPO completed with a $72 billion valuation. Global sales, by the way, in the first half of this year, down about 4%, coming in at just over 145,000 vehicles. So you might be saying to yourself, okay, in terms of the German luxury automakers and their market caps, where does Porsche figure in compared to Ferrari, Mercedes-Benz, BMW? There you see it's below Ferrari and well below what you see from Mercedes and BMW. But keep in mind, they're only doing a public float of 10% of Porsche. So as you take a look at shares of Ferrari, the reason we're showing you this is we're going back and showing you Ferrari all the way from its IPO. And I remember when this IPO happened, a lot of people said, why is Sergio Marchioni doing this? Is this just a money grab? Are they trying to get people to buy some of these shares? Are they really going to be able to be a good investment? Oh, yeah. It's been a really strong investment. Uh, the best outside of, tele of Tesla in the auto industry since its IPO. And when you look at Ferrari, it hits, it's raised its full year guidance this year. They did that in August. They're still seeing strong demand right now. In terms of Volkswagen and what happens here, keep in mind a couple of things. One... It's using the Porsche proceeds, a portion of them. Some will be uh, issued to their investors as a special dividend. Some of the proceeds also will be used to invest in its EV business. But the CFO, after the IPO today, said that the IPO uh, that could happen next for Volkswagen, because it's so huge, such a big conglomerate over there, could be the battery division. And in terms of the business itself, Joe, to get to your question, the CFO of Volkswagen says, you know that chip shortage we're all seeing in this uh, auto industry around the world? That could extend into 2024. Think about that. It's getting better, but it could extend in terms of the overall shortage into 2024.